the one secret hack you need to get more views on your YouTube channel. Now, how do I get more views on my YouTube channel? That's a question I get a lot from members of my private Facebook group, Funnel Building 101. Now, as I celebrate another milestone on my YouTube channel, just went over 400 subscribers and 50,000 views. Now, it's not a big deal, but something that I am grateful for. And this time, I want to share something with you that has been super helpful for me for the growth of my channel. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe to continue receiving great reviews. My name is Mark and I'm the guy behind the Mental Marketer and the private Facebook group Funnel Building 101. I help business owners and entrepreneurs grow and monetize their brand using social media. Now, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to stick around until the end of this video because I'll let you know how to get a special PDF I've put together that is designed to help you grow your YouTube channel. So let's get to it. Now, even if you don't have a large subscriber count and you haven't made that many videos, this hack can work for you. I used to wonder how the huge channels got so many views on their videos and would think to myself that I could never get that many views on my videos or that I would need to have hundreds of thousands of subscribers to reach that goal. I'm sure you can relate. Well, I just went over 400 subscribers and have been making money from my channel since I've had less than 100 subscribers. And as entrepreneurs and business owners, traffic and leads are something we all could use more of. And YouTube is an abundant source of traffic, clicks, leads, and sales. Now, it's one of the channels I've chosen to focus on to drive traffic to all of my funnels. I've written and made videos about this before. I'll make sure to place a link up here somewhere so you can subscribe to the channel and check out those playlists. Now, it's easy to think that it's going to be a long, hard journey with YouTube. Now, I've struggled myself in the beginning, starting, stopping, and starting again, but I've realized that there were some things that if I had known back then could have made the journey a little smoother and maybe even gotten me results a lot faster. Now, ironically, when other people come to me to look at their channel wanting my advice, oftentimes I see this one big mistake being made time after time after time. So I don't want you to make this mistake. What is that big mistake? the title of your video. I know, seems simple, right? But think about this. If you want to get views to your videos, there are three ways to get views, okay? You can share the link on all of your social channels or YouTube can recommend your videos to others that are already watching or three, YouTube is a search engine. So your videos can be discovered during a search. And let me cover all three of those. Now, sharing the link on all your social channels. Now, this can include Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, email list, uh, newsletter, blogs, wh wherever you can personally place your link. Now, once you've exhausted all of the places, all of your friends, families, followers watching your video, then you'll need complete strangers to discover your videos. And that's where the second way comes in which is YouTube recommendations. Now, if you have scrolled on YouTube, you'll notice that YouTube will have the main page and on this main page will be recommended videos. These videos are based on what you've watched in the past and what might interest you. Kind of like Netflix recommendations uh, you may like. Um, this, this is controlled by algorithms and the goal is to keep you on the platform binge watching videos. This is a super great opportunity to have your video viewed and the main determining factor whether someone will click to watch your video is the thumbnail. So you need to have a, a great thumbnail that's attractive and is going to cause curiosity to make someone want to click. Now, even with a great thumbnail, an 8% click-through rate is above average. So with a thousand impressions, if you're able to get 80 clicks, then you are doing very well. And that leaves the last option. 
to have your video show up in search. Now, this is by far your best opportunity to receive more and more clicks and more and more views. YouTube is a search engine and people go to search engines to ask questions. So when you input your question in the search bar, the video titles that most closely match your search will be shown in the results. I see so many people title their videos something like my trip to the Bahamas when I was bitten by a raccoon. Don't get me wrong, this is a great title. It's a pattern interrupt that might cause someone to think, hmm, raccoon in the Bahamas? And this title might work well with interruption-based marketing. However, YouTube is search-based platform and you should use search-based marketing. Now, I won't go into great detail about the difference between search-based and uh, interruption-based marketing, but I'll leave a link to another video on my channel which explains it more. And it's also a subject that's covered in depth in the book Traffic Secrets by Russell Brunson. I talk about this book a lot. Yes, I do. I've done a book summary on it. I even read the entire book and discussed each chapter in depth in a video series of a pitch practice to show. It's truly a classic. I recommend to every single one of my clients. It has every evergreen traffic strategy you'll need to draw business, draw people into your business. I've made it easy for you to get a sample of the book with some audios and videos and also to pick up your own free copy. Just check the link in the description of this video. Now, a better title for YouTube's search engine might be, Are There Raccoons in the Bahamas? My Experience Being Bitten. This is more similar to the questions that people are typing in and asking in YouTube's search engines. Now, this is the one tip that I wish I knew when I first started my YouTube channel because since I've changed the way I title my videos, and I've even gone back and changed, uh, retitled some of my old videos, but since the title change, my videos have shown up in search results I've been able to rank for some high volume keywords and it's resulted in a ton more views to my videos and as a result, more business, more clients as well. Now, do you think that if you title your videos differently that you would get more views? Of course. And I'm sure it's not a stretch to say that just using this one hack you'll get more views for your videos and hopefully gain more subscribers and eventually customers that lead to sales. So how do you find the exact titles that people are inputting in the search engines so you can have your videos rank for those high volume search terms? Great question. And I've actually put together a PDF with the same video blueprint that I use to optimize each of my videos. I've given it to several members of my private Facebook group and they're already using it and growing their channels. On that PDF, it has all the exact free tools and the strategy I use to find and rank for the high volume search terms that get thousands of searches every single month. Now, if you want more views, ranking for high volume keywords is the key and it's exactly what you want to do. Now, you wanna find those high volume keywords that get tons of searches every month then set your video up so that it ranks high on the results page for that search term. That's it. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video and just look around this video to grab free access to that PDF. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see you later, family. Are you enjoying this video? Now's the time to smash that heart button and hit the subscribe. What are you waiting for? You'll be glad you did. 